Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Skull Candy Indie Truly Wireless Earbuds. Now you can pick these up from skullcandy.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on these, 80 bucks. Now at the end of this video, I'm gonna answer four questions. Number one, are these better than the Skull Candy Push? Number two, are they better than the Anchor Liberty Ears? Number three, are they better than the Tick Pods Free? And number four, which are my favorite douche buds? That's the pencil style earbuds. All right, so let's get into these. Skull Candy Indie, connected, not tied down. Now you got Bluetooth wireless technology, up to 16 hours of total battery life. They are IPX4 water resistant, and you got your touch controls. Let's see, anything else? All day play up to 16 hours total battery life. So that's four hours with the earbuds and another 12 hours with the charging case. Now you got intelligent design. Earbuds turn on and appear automatically when removed from the case. Ready for anything. Durable design with an IPX4 rated water resistant. You got your touch controls, manage calls, tracks, and volume through the capacitive touch on the earbuds. All right, so all that for 80 bucks. Let's see what it is. First things first, Shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white, white shoes. shoes. I love Calm my down. All right, here we go. Skull Candy Indie. All right, truly wireless earbuds. Nice black box. Giggity. Let's see what you get inside. All right, we got a nice presentation alert. Why don't you open this up? This is going to be your instructions. All right, so to pair them, just hold down the button. You got your touch controls. We'll go through all of that in a minute. Okay, so here we go. Another set of douche buds. Inside. Okay, so we got micro USB charging cable. No USB type C. Okay, you got some different size air tips. Got your usual books and shit. Pluck them. File them to the side. Here's your charging case. Okay. Oh, now this charging case actually looks nice. Got the Skull Candy brand in. You got three LEDs on the front. Got the word Indie on the top. And on the bottom, there's your micro USB charging slot. Now, here's your earbuds. Let's pull these out. Another set of douche buds. All right, now these kind of remind me of the Tick Pods and the Liberty Anchor Ears and the RHA True Connects and all the other stupid looking earbuds. But um, this is an acquired taste. You might like these. Personally, I don't. Now, this is a special request video. A lot of people ask me to check these out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to check them out. All right, so I'm going to pause the video. I'll grab a phone. We'll pair these up and we'll do our usual testing. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so real quick, just in case you want to see the difference in size, here's my three favorite douche buds. Okay, so here's the Skull Candy Indies. Now, right away, I can tell you I like these little rubber tips. These are definitely going to stay in your ears. Here's the Liberty Anchors. Okay, now these look a little bit smaller and a little bit thinner. And you can take this rubber piece off if you want. And here's my favorite ones, the Tick Pods. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Now the Tick Pods, about the same size as the Indies. Definitely a little bit smaller than the Liberty Anchors. As far as the cases, let's see. I think I like the Tick Pods case the best. All three of these are micro USB charging cases. Let's drop these in. And with the Skull Candies, the Indies, <laughs> shoes want that little rubber tip. They drop in just like that. Now, one more comparison. Here's the Skull Candy Push. So if you don't like the douche bud style, then you're automatically going to, uh, going to want to go with the push. Now, I did a separate video on these. I ain't really feeling these too tough. All right, let me grab a phone. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I got these all set up, so now let's test them out. Now, as far as the pairing process, real simple. Once you open up the case and take them out, they'll automatically turn on and they'll be in pairing mode. Go to your phone's Bluetooth menu and select the Skull Candy Indies. Now, as far as the fit, I like them better without those little rubber wings on. But if you're going to be running or doing some gymnastics or some crazy activities, you might want to leave them on. But they fit my ears perfectly without them. 
All right, so let me slap these in. Okay, so the fit on these, nice and snug, very comfortable, lightweight. I can definitely hear a little noise isolation. Let me do the head shake test. Okay, no movement at all. So these will be perfect for the gym. Let me show you what they're gonna look like when you're wearing them. Like a typical set of douche buds. Nothing different. All right, so now let's do a little sound test. All right, so I got some Tony Matterhorn queued up, Dutty Wine, max volume, double tap on the right earbud for play and pause. All right, here we go. We're about to get real fake Jamaican up in here. One of them, two of them, then the crew of them, I will wind them. Even more of them, I will grind them. Said it one of them friends. Let's go, skin out. We stepping out the club and the dance rubber dub and they get like I'm a wind up on me. To tell back against the wall. Crying up on me. But you know, said time is up on me. Like the sunshine on me. Dutty wine, my girl, dutty wine. Dutty wine, my girl, dutty wine. Skin out. All right, hold up, hold up. Let me listen for real quick. All right, hold up. Let me pause this. All right. Double tap for play and pause. Ah, oh, boy. Now, look. <laughs> I understand this is only 80 bucks, so I wasn't expecting to be blown away. But I'm really not that impressed. All right, these don't sound that great. Now, they all they are loud. They're decently loud. You got a nice bass line, mids and highs. But honestly, I think the Anchor Liberty is. I already know for a fact the tick pods are blowing these out the water. Let me do a quick comparison between these and the Liberty is. Now, this is my second set of Skull Candy earbuds that I had the same reaction. I'm not that impressed. Now, this is a special request video. Somebody asked me to check these out. Personally, I would have never bought these on my own. So I'll give these away in one of my streams. But again, I'm not that impressed. All right, they're, they're not the loudest in the world. Now, I'm kind of spoiled because I've been using the Sennheisers and the Bose and the B&Os and the Audio Technicas and the Master Dynamics. When you put on earbuds and you start playing music, you don't want to hear nothing else around you. I got these on max volume, and I already tried out a couple of different songs too. I'm just keeping it real. I was expecting to be a little bit more impressed, but I'm really not. All right, I'm really not. Okay, let me grab the, the Anchor Liberty is. We'll try out the same song and see how they sell. All right. Now, I just used the Anchor Liberty is. Same song, same volume. The Anchor Liberty is sound way better. Now, as far as volume level, Maybe about the same, but these sound way cleaner. The bass is way more rich. And you would think Skull Candy, a company that excels in the bass heavy headphones, you would think they got the bass locked down. Not the case with these wireless earbuds. Now, honestly, I got a bunch of Skull Candy headphones. The only ones I like are the Crushers and the Crusher 360s. All of the rest of the Skull Candy headphones that I keep trying, they all sound the same. They got that muddy kind of sound to them, and they're not the loudest in the world. Now look, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm not even gonna bother doing the rest of my usual testing because it doesn't make any sense. I'm not feeling these. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. I'm not feeling these. I would strongly advise y'all, if you got 70 bucks and you're getting ready to spend them on some earbuds, go with the Anchor Liberty is. Trust me, uh, you're gonna like these way better. Matter of fact, oh boy, do I wanna be a half-ass? All, right, all right, let me try a little bit more testing. But I'm, I'm just, I'm not feeling these. I'm not feeling these at all. Let's try out some other stuff though. All right, so now let's do the reconnection test. Now remember, what the Anchor Liberty is, it was about four seconds. Here we go. So I'll take them out the case. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000. All right, five seconds. They just reconnected. All right, so now let's do the one earbud test. Can you play music from one earbud at a time while the other one is charging in the case? All right, so I got the music playing right now. I'll take out the left earbud. The right side is still playing. Put that back in. Check out the right earbud. The left side is still playing. Okay, put that back in. Now, I took out the left earbud. Let's put it in the case. Close it up. The music is still playing. 
You see it's still connected. Okay. So now let's put the left side back in. It just said power on. It just reconnected. Now I'm going to take out the right earbud, put it in the case. It just stopped playing the music and it disconnected the Bluetooth. So if you want to listen to one earbud at a time while the other one is charging, it has to be the right earbud. All right, so now let's check the call quality. I'm going to call my daughter on the phone and we'll test this out. Okay, let's get max volume. It's ringing out of both ears. Okay, not the loudest in the world. Hi, girly. What's up? What you doing? Okay, that's good. That's good. Because I ain't really... Uh, all right, I just want to ask you a quick question. <laughs> all right, how do I sound? All right, well, that's very nice of you. But <laughs> but I mean, how do I sound? Is, is my voice breaking up? Is it sound crystal clear? I'm testing out some headphones. Okay, so you can hear me fine? All right, cool. I, yeah, I, I always sound loud, though. You know how I do. Now I get down, you know all that? I, 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 um, I, I'll call, call me after, call me after you finish practicing. All right, bye. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> phone calls. This sounds good. I, I can't complain with that. Phone calls sound good. Loud comes out of both ears. She said she heard me just fine. I said, how do I sound? She said, you sound tired. <laughs> Very nice of you. I am a little bit under the weather though. It is what it is though. All right, so I can't complain with the call quality. All right, so now let's check for lag latency. And what I mean by that is, when you're watching a video, is there any delay from the person's lips to what you hear? Now I'm gonna do my usual test, so here's my usual disclaimer. I'm gonna take the wireless earbud and put it right next to my wireless mic. Keep this in mind, sound takes time to travel. So when you're watching this video at home, it might seem like there's way more lag than it is, but I got the left earbud in my ear, so I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. All right, so here we go. Let's hit play. I'm gonna put the earbud right next to the mic. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not, but like I said, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. Okay, so far this ain't bad. Oh, this ain't bad at all. Minimum lag. Maybe a millisecond, but not bad at all. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> all, right, all right. So this ain't bad. So if you're planning on buying these to watch videos, minimum lag. Hardly noticeable. All right, so now let's try the touch controls. Double tap for play and pause and answer and end phone calls on the right earbud. Okay, that works with no problems. Now, if you want to lower the volume, tap it once on the left earbud. Okay, no problems with that. If you want to increase the volume, tap it once on the right earbud. Okay, no problems. If you want to skip to the next song, hold down on the right earbud for two seconds. Okay, that works. And if you want to reverse, hold down on the left earbud for two seconds. Okay, start it over. All right, so the touch controls ain't bad. Now, they're not the most comfortable in the world, but they work. All right, so overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving the Skull Candy Indies. Let's see, how can I say this? Let me just keep it real with y'all. These shits is trash. All right, they garbage. Are they worth 80 bucks? And the answer is no. 40 bucks at max. I would say pass on these for 80 bucks, especially when you could get the Anchor Liberty Ears for 70 bucks. Same douche bud style look, but these sound way better. Now I tried all the different size air tips. I tried them with or without the wings. I tried them on my Android and my iPhone, and the bottom line is this, they garbage. Now listen, I know a lot of y'all like to make excuses for companies, oh, you should have tried this, you should do this, you should do that. Listen, man, I got no beef with Skull Candy. All right, I love the Crushers and the Crusher 360s, but these headphones right here, they trash, the push, they not that far behind either. These ain't the best, but these is garbage. I right, they garbage. Save your money, get the Anchor Liberty Airs, or get something else. Now let me answer those four questions. Are these better than the push? 
And the answer is no. Are these better than the Anchor? Liberty is. And the answer is no. Are they better than the tick pods? And the answer is hell no. And how would I rate these? Still the tick pods number one. The Anchor Liberty is number two for the pencil style douchebag earbuds. Then after that, give me the AirPods and the free buds and everything else. All right, the RHA True Connects, those is trash, and these is trash too. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. And picture me rolling. It's your boy flops a mouth. Deuces. Enterprise. Spock here. Spock one to beam up. Captain. Enterprise out. Energize. <laughs>